you know where I am. You know, we're gonna get a little litty before we bake some banana bread. It's my specialty, so whatever you gotta do, you gotta do. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do, okay? So I'm gonna see you in a second. I am absolutely specked. It's time to make some banana bread. I'm baking some banana bread for, just because I like banana bread. And I get, okay, let me think about my thoughts. I make this banana bread, like it's a box and I, it's not homemade, like please don't get on my head. I just can't really do that right now. Um, but it's so easy and I kept it a secret for a while because people love my banana bread muffins. So I am going to show you guys how I make it. So I go to Trader Joe's and I get this box. It's the banana bread mix. Whoa. Dude, I have this fear that I'm going to like turn on the thing and then I'm gonna light myself on fire. I this is a fake ponytail, you guys just know that I don't have long hair. Anyways, but I do the directions for the muffins, so let's preheat the oven to 325. I have water. I just feel like I've let my anxiety my entire life stop me from so much and especially with like my personality and stuff. Um, I feel like my humor and stuff is kind of like eccentric. Like I don't want to be like one of those girls and be like oh, I'm just so different or like no one gets me. But you know, like everybody just has like different like humor and stuff and like sometimes like you think something's funny and I don't or whatever and stuff. So, um, which is why I love my boyfriend so much because like I feel like our humor is like the exact same and it's just funny. Actually, not entirely, but majority of it. Um, but yeah, what was I talking about? My anxiety? Uh, yeah. And so I feel like this year, I really want to show you guys who I actually am because, I mean, you obviously subscribe to this channel for a reason, so, um, yeah. Hi, I'm Alisa. <laughs> I am pretty high right now. I have my water here in my mug because all of my cups at the time were dirty when I needed a mug and then I ended up doing the dishes. No, I'm still drinking out of the mug. I need to soften this a little. Get my muffin tin out. It holds one, two, three, four. One, two, three. So 12, a dozen muffins. Honestly, the batch could make a little bit more, but I just make pretty big muffins also because I don't have another tin and I just don't have the patience to make and wait for a new batch of muffins because I'm very impatient. So we're gonna tuck in my ponytail so it doesn't get into the, the food or mix that I'm making. So we have cinnamon because cinnamon makes everything better. We have semi-sweet chocolate chips, no nuts for the nut allergy people out there. I don't want it to be melted, I just want it to be soft. So it says I need one third cup of water. I'm gonna follow the direction, the line measurement. I feel like I should have this. This is how much we need. I feel like this could be a little softer because it asks for cream butter. Damn it! 
it. It's like melted. It's okay. Banana right here. Yeah. I really don't like old bananas and stuff. Like when I eat bananas, they have to be like a specific, like they have to be perfect to me. I can't just like have like a too mushy banana or like it's too ripe. I just uh, or two eggs. I have this also fear of salmonella. I have this fear of salmonella and raw egg and raw chicken, obviously. I add cinnamon. I'm pretty generous with the cinnamon. Oh, we're just gonna do this for right now. I spilled some freaking um mix. Have the tin, and we're gonna get this butter. And I'd like to use this. No. We butter grease our pans over here. It's so bad. <laughs> so now they are ready to bake. They're gonna bake for 20 to 25 minutes. We're gonna check them at 25, or no, 20, like 22 minutes. And I will show you guys when they're done and out of the oven. It's here. Ah. Is this stuff it's a little warm. Look at the muffins. They're, look, they smell really good. 